Hello friends, welcome to BMH Learning. In this video, we will discuss about microbial assay of antibiotics by turbidimetric method. First of all, what is a microbial assay? A microbiological or we can say microbial assay is defined as qualitative or quantitative determination of chemical compound from a simple or even complex material with the use of microorganisms. Now, talking about the microbial assay of antibiotics, we can say this is basically used for demonstrating the therapeutic efficacy of antibiotics. That is, how much the given antibiotics are effective against specific bacteria in terms of preventing its growth. For microbial assay of antibiotics, two methods are generally employed. The couplet or also called cylinder plate method and the turbidimetric or tube assay method. This tutorial will deal with turbidimetric method or tube assay. So first thing to be done in this method is preparation of bacterial sample. So the test organism against which the antibiotic is being tested is mixed in a nutrient media. The important thing is that the organism we are testing here must be a specific bacteria. After this, we deal with a standard antibiotic, the one which is used as reference. So we make five different concentrations of standard antibiotic by diluting it with distilled water. Similarly, we are gonna make five different concentrations of the sample antibiotic whose microbial assay is being performed. And we will be able to know the efficacy of the sample antibiotic by comparing it with the control or standard antibiotic. Now, after all these arrangements, let's make the set of concentrations for standard antibiotic. We are gonna make five different concentrations which can be kept in increasing or decreasing order depending on your convenience. Suppose we are arranging the antibiotic dilutions in increasing order. So what we are doing here is, we are transferring 1 ml of serially diluted standard antibiotic in each tube. So the first tube is having minimum concentration, while the fifth one in the line having maximum concentration. Then we have a specific bacteria along with the nutrient media. We transfer 9 ml of nutrient media with bacterial sample into these 5 tubes having different concentrations of standard antibiotic. Now, let's make same set for sample antibiotic. So we have 5 tubes and into these tubes we add serially diluted 1 ml of test antibiotic in increasing concentration. Similarly, we are also transferring 9 ml of nutrient media with test bacteria into these tubes. So, both sets of tubes have got their materials. Now, we keep both sets of tubes for incubation for 3 to 4 hours at 37 degrees centigrade. Results and interpretation. After incubation time is completed, we will find that there is a difference between both sets. And the difference between the two depends on the turbidity. So the sample having more turbidity, hence less transparency, means there is more bacterial growth. So that means the particular concentration of the antibiotic is not effective as compared to others. So let's see in case of standard antibiotic, the turbidity is like the first tube is most turbid and the second one is bit less. The third one is little more less and the trend follows with last one having lowest turbidity. It's because the antibiotic concentration we used was in increasing order. Hence the last tube is having highest antibiotic concentration, thus minimum turbidity. And that implies 
the microorganism growth is minimum. In case of sample antibiotic, we will find the similar pattern of turbidity. So, we will compare the turbidity appearance of particular concentration of test antibiotic with standard antibiotic and will measure the efficacy of the sample antibiotic accordingly. This was all. Thanks for watching.